Hey everybody, uh, this is a tough topic to learn online, but I want to do just a few more examples of how to read a micrometer to the nearest ten thousandths of an inch. So I'm going to go through a couple of quick principles, and then we'll do three more examples to try and further clarify this. So you can see when the micrometer is closed, we have this outer part, which we call the thimble, and it's right at zero. Now here's the key to why a micrometer works, is we start opening up the micrometer, we're always counting thousandths over here, that is three decimal places. And so when we've opened that up to the five, that's actually five thousandths of an inch. Now as we keep opening, we'll cross over 10 and 15 and 20 thousandths of an inch, that would still be in the third decimal place, we'll see that in a minute. But here's the key, when we roll past 21, 22, 23, and 24, and when we hit 25, then you can see that that first tick mark is starting to show. And those tick marks keep track of complete turns, or 25 thousandths. So there's one tick mark, which means 25 thousandths. There's another tick mark, which means we've made two turns. That's 50 thousandths. Another complete turn is three tick marks. That's 75 thousandths. And when you get around that fourth turn, which would be a hundred thousandths, that's when the first one is revealed. So what that means is, when you're looking at that scale on the sleeve, the inside of the micrometer, that one is actually 0 0.100, and this two is 0 0.200, and so on. And each one of these tick marks is 0 0.025 added on. So we have 0 0.025, the second one is 0 0.050, the third one is 0 0.075, and then we hit 0 0.100. So once we get past the 1, this first tick mark here would be 0 0.125, and then 0 0.150, and then the third one is 0 0.175, and then we'd hit the 2. And the next mark beyond that, of course, would be 0 0.225, 0 0.250, Next one would be 0 0.275, and at that point you can probably see the pattern, and then we're at 3, or 300 thousandths. Now let's take a look at a few settings on the micrometer. So the position of this micrometer right now, you can see that the 3 is showing plus 1 tick mark. That means that right now we have 0.325. This outer part, called the thimble, is adding on some thousands to that. There's our 10, 11, and right here we have another 12 thousandths. And even though our baseline is in between, we're still going to count that as a 12. We never round up. And so at this point we have 0.325 plus 0 0.012. That gets us at... 0.337. And your last step then is to look up here on the vernier and find the number that lines up the best. And so if we rotate that through, you can see that the 3 lines up really nicely. We'll hang that in the 10 thousandths place, and that means that this measurement that we see is 0.3373, and we're done. Okay, what about this setting? You can see from our sleeve on the inside we have 0.4 and three tick marks is 0.475. Then off of our thimble, there's the 10 thousandths mark, there's the 9, and here's the 8 thousandths mark. So we should add on 8 thousandths to that, and that puts us at 0.483. Now we'll look for the vernier number that lines up best. And the 8 lines up really, really well. And so that'll be our fourth digit. And we should call this 0.4838, and we're done. Now, for the ones that you have to do, your pictures, um, since you can't see the back side of the micrometer, all of yours will either end in 0, 1, 2, or 3. I've set all those to line up on a number between 0 and 3, nothing higher than 4, because you can't see that. One more before I give you one for practice. On this setting, we can see that there's 
a 2 visible, so that's 0.2. You can start to see that tick mark showing through, but we can't count it yet because we're not rolled up past the 0, so we've not hit 25 thousandths. And you can see here that we're only at, there's 20, 21 thousandths. So our reading so far would be 0 0.221. Now, we could go and look for what number lines up best, but in fact, our baseline lines up perfectly here, and that means that our fourth digit will be a zero. And so, since this lines up perfectly, we make that fourth digit a zero, and our reading here is 0 0.2210, and we're done. Okay, you take a minute and read this one. Okay, well, on the inside, we've got our sleeve of 6. Two tick marks is uh, 50, so we've got 0 0.650. Now we'll add on another. There's 15, 16, and we're just past 17. We'll add on another 17 thousandths. When you add those, you get 0 0.650 plus 0 0.017. That's 0 0.667. And as you can see here, the 1 lines up really, really well. And so our fourth digit is a 1. And so this would be 0 0.6671, and we're done. OK, I hope that's helpful. I can certainly zoom with you uh, if you're still stuck. But I wanted to provide a little bit of clarification on the exact micrometers that you'll be reading. Let me know if you're still having trouble.